My name is Ben Bowler. I'm originally from Australia and been living in Thailand with uh, my wife, my family, for the last four years. And we've started a foundation there called Blood Foundation, uh, which is built on the philosophy of the one human family. And we have projects there which are immersion into Buddhism, and we also work with refugees coming over the border from Burma. I've always been fascinated by Islam in the sense of not knowing much about it, but recognizing just how enormous it is on the face of the planet. What, a, what an incredible large factor it is in world affairs and being interested personally in faith and religion. Islam has always been sort of somewhere there on the radar. After uh, Rani starting and running the Monk for Month program in Thailand, it was actually uh, a Christian fellow who was uh, with us making a website, a volunteer, who remarked half humorously actually that we should do Muslim for a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, a light went off and uh, I registered the URL, I think, the next day. So since that time was a few years ago, so it's been a process of just something in the background until I met um, a Catholic monk by the name of Brother John, a remarkable man in Bangkok who had studied under I uh, studied Islam at the Pontifical University in Rome and was an uh, expert on Islamic affairs, is an expert on Islamic affairs, who liked the idea and connected me to uh, another remarkable Catholic, Father Thomas Michel. And it was through Father Thomas Michel that the connection was made with this group here in Istanbul. And then it all happened very quickly. I visited here in uh, August 2010, uh, just for a couple of days, met the organisation, saw this facility, which at that stage was just a potential facility, it was an empty shell, and uh, they thought that they would be able to perhaps get permission to use it, and they have, they've done a remarkable job, not just putting the furniture and, 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 and setting this place up, but more importantly with the actual program itself, the people that they've brought, the experts that they've brought, the parts of the program that they've put together, which combine tourism with immersion into Sufi spirituality, and with that deeper understanding of Islamic theology. So that was the journey, a series of fortunate events, you might say. One, of course, is understanding between people, Islam and the rest, you might say. Uh, we're not targeting this at uh, Christians in Europe or Jews in Europe or any other faith in Europe. We're targeting it at Westerners and anyone else who's interested to come along. So it's well documented what a clash at the moment is happening, particularly in, in, in the world, between Islam and modern culture. Maybe the biggest clash of our time. So certainly increasing the threads of understanding and the threads of human sympathy and relationship across those divides by coming and having an immersion experience and seeing the common humanity, sharing food with people, listening to their stories, meeting their children. There's nothing quite as powerful as that in terms of breaking down prejudice and, su and, and suspicion and misunderstanding that is at the basis of a lot of this fear and mistrust which is driving this, uh, this clash. That's certainly part of it. Another part of it is perhaps more spiritual in essence. Islam here in Istanbul is a living religion. It's in the city, it's the sounds and the sights, it's in the air, it's in the, it's in the people here. And I think it's really important for Western Europe and uh, secular modernity, secular materialist culture that we are in at the moment to be exposed to, for people to come and be exposed to, okay, this is how religion feels and looks when it's living and it's thriving. We're very, uh, almost in a spiritual vacuum in some senses in the West. So about coming and having an experience with a living faith, um, we're hoping that that's going to have a personal response to people who come and experience that. Of course, it's not necessarily about becoming a Muslim. It's certainly about encountering something universal, which is belief in something bigger than ourselves, and how it's lived and practiced by these devoted people here in Istanbul, and the, the potential for that to then trigger something within our guests who come and have this experience as well. So it's certainly about breaking down cultural misunderstandings and divides, but it's also about the possibility for spiritual progression of individuals as well. It uh, seems to me that in Western Europe, and which I think is very similar to Australia, my wife is Dutch, so I'm 
quite familiar with uh, Western secular culture, that for many good reasons, religion has been rejected in Europe. Uh, when I say for many good reasons, I mean understandable ones. Um, the excesses of the, the church uh, and its um, mistakes and its things that have happened in its name that have been unacceptable. And so we can understand why people have rejected and are rejecting this. The question is, is there something vital and important within this traditions, these, these, these rivers running through history that we need for the future? And I think there is. And so the essence of rejecting religion, I think we, we've lost something vital in the process. So looking at what we're doing in Thailand with Buddhism, which again, it's a living religious culture, um, very different in, in type of religion in some ways, and Istanbul with, with the living religious culture of Islam. I think it's an opportunity to bring people to connect back to something. And it's not Christianity, it's not Judaism, it's not our heritage spiritually, it's something else. But the bigger understanding is that all these traditions, in a sense, belong to all of us as human beings. That it's a shared human heritage, uh, these cultures and traditions. And I think at this time in the world's history, it's vitally important that we are tapping back into these pasts to find something that is vital and universal and important for our understanding of who we are in the universe and what that means for us in the future going forward. I think it's about timing and the moment is right now. Um, the internet, the jet age, these things have come together and changed everything. And right now there's an opportunity for conversion a conversion of diverse of diverse streams and strains that's never really been possible or practical before. Even though Christians believe they have a universal message and Islam believes it has a universal message. It's never really been possible to have anything truly universal because of the material limitations. Now that's all changed with our technology. So I think it's a great opportunity and in that sense there's a kind of responsibility for us to be trying to knit these things together and to bring them together and to find the common thing, which is not necessarily the overlap, but it's the next level above. And it's with a bird's eyes view that we can see unity, whereas on the ground, sometimes it looks like conflict. And I think that's what we're aiming to get towards and that's what we're hoping to get towards. You know, small is beautiful, isn't it? And when you come together just with groups and, 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 and visit families and have those connections, which is so human, then there's something in the heart which recognises the other as not a series of preconceptions or ideas or misunderstandings, but as a human being. Uh, and then we start from that place that where hu humanity is shared. And then we can talk about culture and difference and ideas and philosophy and, you know, and at some point we can often agree to disagree, and that's okay. As long as the respect and the understanding uh, is the starting point and is maintained throughout that dialogue. Uh, for me personally, it's been, you know, it's been a remarkable thing to come through this with a, quite a small, intimate group of people, to have this experience with friends and family, and to really be a guest of these, these hosts who have put all of this together and it's 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 remarkable it's, it's marvelous what they've done and how they've gone about it so it's been a great joy it's uh, seeing people along the journey having their experiences and their breakthroughs and learning intellectually and growing spiritually and coming together there's a lot of good spirit in it as well and I think that's uh, it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun it's a lot of joy it's a really overwhelmingly positive thing <laughs>